What is going on everybody, it's your boy TFG here, coming back at you with another gaming video. Today we're going to be heading over to Minecraft, and I'm going to show you how to use the loom. Now the loom, there's actually a lot you can do with it, so I prepared a little area for us to go through together, where we can talk about all of the things you can currently do with the loom. Little overview real quick, we're going to start off with how to craft the loom and banners. We're going to go into the pre-made banners that are in the game, then I'm going to show you how to make your own banner designs. Then we're going to get into the special categories where we can use banners with maps, we can use banners on shields, and we can make letters with banners. Now let's get right on into it. Alright, first off we have how to craft the loom and the banners. The loom is just going to be two pieces of string over two planks, and then the banners are going to be whatever type of wool you would like to use over one stick. Like I said, you can use any type of wool for the base banner. Alright, now that we have made our loom and we have made our banners, I want to show you how to make a custom banner. This is actually super easy, so we'll do this real quick. You want to grab your die and your banner. You want to take them, put them in their slots, and then you can just choose out of any of these patterns. I like this one. Now you can actually choose up to six patterns, so let's do another one, and then let's do one more. Now we have a custom banner. Now if you're thinking you want to add even more to this, maybe like some pictures or something, there are a few of those in the game. These are called banner patterns, and I'm going to show you real quick how to get those and what they look like. Alright, let's move on to the banner pattern section of the video. There are eight in total in the game. First off, I want to start with the globe because it is the only one that is exclusive to Java. It's not in Bedrock, so I can't show you here. Hopefully, I'll just like pull up a picture right now so that you can see it. Now, if you play Java and you're watching this video and you're wondering how to get it, then all you need to do is you need to get a cartographer villager to master level trading and you will be able to trade with him and grab it for a few emeralds. Now let's move on to the other seven in the game. First off is the snout. The snout is unique from these six for two reasons. First off, you have to find the snout, not craft it. You have to find it in a bastion. That's why I have this black blackstone brick right here. And then also it is non-renewable, so you can only use it one time. The rest of these you can use infinitely after crafting them. So that is the snout. Remember, it is unique in two ways. You have to find it and it, you can only use it once. Next, let's get on to the rest of the banner patterns that are all similar in how they are used. First off, we have the thing banner pattern. It looks like the Mojang symbol and it's right here as an enchanted apple because you need an enchanted apple and a piece of paper and a crafting table to craft it. All of these, you just use the item in the item frame and a piece of paper and you will get your banner pattern. After the thing pattern, we have the skull pattern. Looks like a skull. You will need a wither skeleton skull and a piece of paper and a crafting table. Next, we have the creeper banner pattern, which is right here. It's going to look like a creeper head. Here it is right here. You need a creeper head and a piece of paper and a crafting table. Now the creeper head is a little more difficult to get than the rest of these. To get a creeper head, you need to get a creeper struck by lightning to create a charged creeper and then you have to lure him into another creeper to blow them up and they will drop the head. Now to get the next one, it is just the flower banner pattern. You just need the oxide daisy flower. The next one is the field mason banner pattern. You just need a brick. And the last one is the border indented pattern and you just need a vine. Now let's move on to the next section of the video. Alright, so far we have covered how to make the loom, how to make banners, how to make custom banners, and also all of the banner patterns in the game. Now we're going to move on to the special categories where we have banners with maps, banners with shields, and letters on banners. Now let's get right into it. Alright, let's move on to the maps portion of this video. I'm going to show you real quick how you can take a banner and you can actually label a map with words all around it. Now unfortunately, this is still exclusive to Jabra, but for you Bedrock users out there, I will include a quick workaround that kind of works. It's definitely nowhere near as good, but it does kind of work. First off, let's show those Java users out there how to do this. Now first off, you want to grab a regular map. You want to explore that map real quick, so it's going to look something like this, super zoomed in. To zoom out a map, you want to just grab a piece of paper, go to your cartography table and put it in like this. Now you can zoom out your map four times. You will see on it, see it says two out of four, I've zoomed it out twice. You can do it two more times if you want. There we go. Now if you look at it, you see how far it's zoomed out. It's actually tiny now. Here right here is an example. This is a fully zoomed out map and I went ahead and explored the top corner for you guys. Now what I was going to do is I was going to go place the banners and show you what it looks like, but then I realized you can't do it in Bedrock. So what I want to do is I want to show you real quick 
what you want to do is let's say there are some villages that you want to remember where they are so you want to take three banners there are three villages I want to label so I want to take three banners name village just go to your anvil put your blank banner in name it village pull it out now you want to take these and you want to just go to wherever it is on the map fly over there place it down use this map and just click the banner that's all you have to do now you just need to leave that banner there forever as long as you leave it there and it's not disturbed the name will remain on the map forever now we're going to do the exact same thing for you bedrock users but instead of a banner we're actually going to use a locator map all right now for you bedrock users out there i wanted to just show you this quick workaround it's nowhere near as good as what the java users can do but it's still something so what you want to do is you want to grab your empty locator map and explore it then you want to take that and you want to put it in your loom with a piece of paper zoom it out maybe once maybe twice now take it put it back in add some empty locator maps below it and you can duplicate it you probably want to do this twice get yourself four versions of the same locator map now you look at it and you see that it is zoomed out nice and good now you want to take some item frames with you and wherever you want to label you want to place your item frame then place one of your duplicates and then let's do that one more time for the example and boom and now when you look on this map you'll see oh let me get out of the way you'll see two emblems these little like green player icons you see it is nowhere near as good as what they can do on java but it is something it is a way to label a map and um, it's definitely still useful for labeling things that you want to come back to now let's move on over to the shield section all right real quick i just wanted to show you how to put a banner on a shield now earlier at the beginning of the video i already showed you how to make custom banners but i wanted to quickly show you that first of all this is java only but that this is very easy to do all you have to do is go into a crafting table and take your shield and put it right here next to the banner and then you will have your custom shield design like i said unfortunately it is java only but that is how to do that in case you were wondering now let's move on to the final portion of the video all right in the final section of the video i'm going to show you how to put letters on banners now this is actually super easy you can make the entire alphabet with this method and you know a lot of people don't talk about this method because they just want to cover how to use banners in the loom so i just wanted to show you this really quick all you need to do is take a white banner or whatever color you want and whatever color ink you want or dye and you want to go into the crafting table and you want to place your banner here you only need one and you want to just let's make an a so first off we want to make a line across the top now we want to make the line in the middle all right and now we want to make a line on the side and let's make one on the other side and now finally we want to add a border around it which you want to do for all the letters it really helps them pop and look a little more realistic and boom there you have your a now you like i said you can do this with all of the letters in the alphabet you can do this with some numbers um you can definitely get creative with this method so definitely try everything uh, i didn't want to get too in depth into this there are a bunch of videos out about this if you want to just look up like how to make the alphabet in with banners you can do that um, but yeah, that is that. That is my entire video on everything you can possibly do with a loom. If this helped you, maybe leave a like or subscribe. I'll definitely be pumping out a bunch of Minecraft videos very soon. Thank you very much for watching and have a good one.